Hi, so um, I'm Kathleen Jamie, National Poet, and I'm going to make a very short film showing you the idea of the collective poem or the communal poem, which is something that can be used, well, we've done it nationally, so it's certainly something that can be used in a classroom, and maybe especially for, for students and, dare I say, teachers who are a wee bit leery of, of poetry and how to use it. The idea of a collective poem is a simple one. You just have everybody, every student, to supply just one line on a theme. You can set the theme and have them just to write one line. That means nobody has to get stressed out about writing a complete poem. Nobody has to get lost in rhyme. You know, you just have to write one line, ideally a concrete image, you know, something real to work with. In the national poems that we've made, we made one for um, on environmental matters and we've made one after the invasion of Ukraine, people sent lines in here to the Scottish Poetry Library. We received about a thousand, which was way more than I thought we might. So I received all this great, great long list of lines. And what I did was I printed them out on sheets of paper, then I stuck the sheets of paper to bits of cardboard. And this is what I ended up with. Many, many lines and sections of poems you know, many, many of these. So I just laid them out in front of me. You can do this as a classroom set. In fact, we did receive some class sets um, of, of lines into this. And then I just spent a very happy day or two shuffling them around until I felt they were in order and they'd fallen into themes. Obviously, we were dealing with a great number. You in a classroom might be dealing with, um, I don't know, 30. Shuffle them around, and I'm sure the, the students can have a part in this until you get a feel of what line can follow on from the next, what sounds like an opening line and what sounds like a closing line. This trains your ear to think like a poet without having to make a great big poem. So there they all were. I hope you can see them all right. And as I say, it was just a matter of shuffling them around until I was satisfied with the shape and the cadence and the content of the poem. If you have a theme, obviously most most kids will write to the theme. We did have one wee boy who insisted on writing about steam trains for absolutely everything, but so there's an occasional steam train crops up. But it's a lovely way of including everybody, both in the initial concept, the first line, and in the communal making of the poem. So as you can see, these are just live in the Tupperware box, and there's goodness so many of them, plenty of them shuffled them around, got them into um, an order I was pleased with, worked out themes, and then realised for this particular poem I had enough for a, for a good three, three lengthy poems, which is what we made in the end. We made three nature poems, national nature poems. And then, not content with having them on the page, we made them into film poems. The poems themselves and the films are still available on the website of the Scottish Poetry Library. Look for the Life Breath Songs and you'll see how the poems look on the page and you'll see how they look when they're made into a film. So just now I'll just read you the first section of one of these three poems and you may hear how it actually sounds like a poem despite looking like that. The Life Breath Songs. The leaves are drying. The breeze whispers of days and nights, the life breath songs of our silver birch trees. The river shines a mirror, seeds carried in the air land on singing rivers, rivers carry mountains to the sea. Let's cherish the crash of waves, feel wild, herringal clarity, bunksy tenacity. Now, there's a line of Gaelic which I can't manage. Let's keep the blue sky, limpet shells and seaweed, Let's go diving and find all the beautiful marine creatures down there. Today the toxic foam erodes the sand, a northeasterly dimples the waves. Our hands are stained purple, we are gathering brambles. Here's dritz with berries, brambles, blaberries, hips and haws, elderberries, rodents, rose hips open my heart. So you can hear that that starts to, to sound like a poem, as I say, despite being made by single lines from any number of people. So, I do commend it to you as a, a classroom thing. It's great fun. Thank you.